Hello, everybody. This is Yoko's Band of Anime Reaction. So now the baby is sleeping. Here's hoping he sleeps all night because he ate a decent amount of food today, which is good. Though every night this week so far, he's been waking up it's once in the morning. So, I don't know. Sorry, right, ice cream. Yeah, caramel delight ice cream. Yum. Anyway, this is going to be my review for Fushi G Yugi episode 8. And. Yeah, once Miyaka got back home, she tried to find Yui. Good luck, because she wasn't there. She wasn't at home, she wasn't at the library, she wasn't at the arcade. And Miyaka's very confused as to what's going on, and when she gets home, she tells her brother what happened. Obviously, he's... He doesn't believe her. I mean, if someone came up to you and told you a crazy story like that, would you believe them, or would you think that they're completely lost their mind? Or they're making it up for some reason? Anyway, uh... While Miyaka's there, she can't stop thinking about Tamahome and the others, and she wants to go back. But she doesn't know where Yui is because she wants to let her know what's going on first. After some time, she realizes that Yui must have been transported back to that world, because obviously she would have been in the library to greet her and, you know, be there for her. And since she wasn't, there is no other explanation other than that she was transported to the world in her place. With this in mind, Miyaka ended up changing back into her uniform, which will come up later in a very, very uncomfortable episode, to be completely honest with you. I am not looking forward to that episode. Anyway, she ends up changing back into her school uniform and goes back to the library, and her brother notices this and follows her. She ends up finding the book, and he, she tells her brother, who had followed her in there, that uh, I've got to do this, I've got to find Yui, because she is missing, and with that, she goes right back in. And I forgot to mention this in the last episode, but when she transported was transported out of the book, something blue shot into the book. So, I'm thinking that was Yui. She took Miyaka's place in that world. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm curious as to what else will end up happening because I had never seen this show before. And I really, really want to have someone roleplay that with me so much. I've already got a character crush. I got a character in mind. I just... I really want to... <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, I will try and get this uh, uploaded tonight. And I will try and do at least one more Dragon Ball episode tonight before I go to bed because I'm going to try and get up early because I didn't do that this morning. I didn't do that today. I just got up late. Because I want to try and watch as much stuff as I can. I've got so many shows to work on that I want to get as much done as I can because I wasn't able to the past couple weeks. And I'm way behind. So, uh, if you haven't already subscribed and there's content in here that interests you, I'd recommend subscribing so you can watch it and get notified whenever I upload more. It's as simple as that, because if you don't, then you're going to have to search for my channel every time, unless you go through your history, and if you watch a ton of videos, then that's going to be difficult. Anyway, if you hear something in the background, it's my heater. It's right. It's right over there, right right on my desk. It's keeping, trying to keep me warm. Anyway. Anyway, I will see you guys next time.